Count on ICC Electric in White River for your electrical needs. At ICC Electric, they specialize in home, farm, commercial, and residential electrical work. Panel changes. They remodel electrical work, too. And they do LED retrofits. ICC Electric is a proud sponsor of White River Local Sports and Activities. You can check them out on Facebook or call them 605-630-0549. ICC Electric in White River. Hi, I'm Ellen, co-owner of Rosewood Building Products in Mission, South Dakota. Whether you're a DIY enthusiast or professional contractor, we've got everything you need. From high-quality lumber to power tools and everything in between, we're your go-to source for all things building. We're your local, Lakota-owned hardware store, lumberyard, and equipment rental center. Rosewood Building Products, your local source for all things building. Call us at 605-856-4100 or check us out online at rosebudbuildingproducts.com. Rosebud Building Products, where community and quality come together. So it was always part of my journey that I was going to be a nurse and I was going to give back to my community. Nobody understands our needs like we do. So we need more youth um, that are interested in becoming nurses, doctors, pharmacists. We need more Indigenous rep representation in healthcare. The word cooperative means working together for a common purpose. At Actegra Cooperative, we are dedicated to supporting the success of our farmers and the health of our communities for generations to come. Rooted in our communities, Actegra strives to instill dedication, determination, and integrity in everything we do. And that includes inspiring the next generation of agricultural leaders. The word. A better you starts closer to home with people who understand your way of life and belong to your community. Primary care providers at Horizon Health know you and know how to help you stay well. We're here to keep you healthy and care for you through every stage of life so you can keep doing what you love and make every day a better one. Schedule an appointment at horizonhealthcare.org. Cinex Zip Trip is your local convenience store with five locations throughout South Dakota, offering top-tier gasoline and Cinex premium diesel fuels. Stop in for a great selection of your favorite snacks, beverages, pizza, and other hot foods. Become a Zip Trip Rewards member and save three cents per gallon of fuel every day, plus earn and redeem points for further discounts. Sign up at CinexZipTrip.com. Cinex Zip Trip is a proud supporter of all local athletics and activities. When it comes to game day, let Zip Trip fill your food and fuel needs. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. We connect people, have been for a hundred years or so. How we get that done? Well, that won't always be the same. But why we connect people? Not in a million years is that ever gonna change. We didn't build the communities that made South Dakota, no. We just brought them together. Advertising can be a struggle. Where to spend your money? Are you reaching the right audience? If you are looking for an effective method that reaches a large fan base at once, then here's your ticket with Live Ticket TV. With over 90 schools in the state of South Dakota, we can help you advertise locally with just your team or reach the region and state. Plus, a portion of all sales go directly back to the school. Get a hold of Stormy today and let's get started in building your brand with Live Ticket TV. Your local cooperative has a new name. CHS Northern Plains and CHS Midwest Cooperative have joined together to better serve you under the new name CHS River Plains. You gain more options and more value with access to global markets and a powerful supply chain. 
And you can do more every day using inputs delivered by a team who knows what you need, when you need it. Visit us online at chsriverplains.com or stop in today and let us help you own every day. Philip Motor, always ready to serve you with a winning combination of small-town friendly sales and service and the latest vehicles and trucks from Ford, Lincoln, Dodge, and Chrysler. Your friends and neighbors across the West River Territory have come to depend on Philip Motor, family-owned for over 40 years. They're known far and wide for offering a relaxing, down-to-earth, helpful car shopping experience. Search online at philipmotor.com or stop by and see their new and pre-owned inventory. Philip Motor proudly supports the Philip Scotties in all school activities and sports. Philip Motor, your small-town dealer. The Rosebud Sioux Tribe Game, Fish, and Parks Department is an avid supporter of the local athletics and activities in all area schools. Their staff would like to wish all the athletes a great and successful season. Good luck to all area schools. Be sure to visit their website, www.rstgfp.net, or stop by the office for any licensing needs or questions about dates and restrictions. Also check out future dates for all youth hunter safety classes on their Facebook page. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800 Kill Bugs. The Insurance Center in Winter is an independent insurance agency affiliated with many fine companies representing all types of insurance. They're able to provide you with a no-obligation comparison of your auto, home, business, crop, farm, life and health insurance needs. Since they have access to so many companies, they have the ability to offer you the best possible coverages at the most competitive rates. For all of your insurance needs, it's the Insurance Center in Winter, White River, Platte, Burke and Valentine. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Welcome to White River's Gathering Spot for family and friends. Lance and Tracy Tucker, new owners of the Roundup Bar and Grill, invite you to join them for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. The Roundup Bar and Grill offers great food, great service, and cold beverages. Lance and Tracy are looking forward to seeing you at the Roundup. Open 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. on weekdays and midnight on weekends with breakfast and noon specials. Let's go Tigers! Best of luck to the White River Tigers from the Roundup Bar and Grill in White River. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. Are you an enthusiastic sports fan? Want to have fun and get in on the action? Heck yes, that'd be awesome. Have great attention to detail? Want to stay active? Definitely. Want to give back to the student athletes in your community? Obviously, yes. Then you'd make an excellent high school sports official. We need more officials in South Dakota, because with no high school officials, there are no high school sports. Sign up today at highschoolofficials.com. Looking to unlock your potential? Centec Alaska University is your gateway to success. Join a vibrant community dedicated to empowering students through quality education and cultural enrichment. With a diverse range of programs and dedicated faculty, we pave the way for your future. Discover your path at Centec Alaska University, where tradition meets innovation. Enroll today and embrace a brighter tomorrow. Visit our campus in Mission, South Dakota, or explore online at www.centecalaska.edu. Your journey starts here. Being a part of a community means sharing the history and future of the people all around you. 
For 115 years, First Fidelity Bank has been doing just that, helping you get the most out of life by providing the services and tools you need, the conveniences and technology you want, and the friendly faces you expect. So you get everything you need right here in the place you call home. Now and for many years to come. First Fidelity Bank. That moment when you realize your furnace is stone cold busted. We're talking a real put on every sweater you own, I can't feel my feet, penguin predicament. But fear not, there's an expert for that. Let your local heating experts at Pites Service Experts keep you warm with $50 off any furnace repair. Like it toasty? There's an expert for that. Call Pites Service Experts at 866-EXPERTS. See website for license details. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. Elevate Agronomics is now added to Cal Basgro to our seed lineup. Along with brands like LG Seeds, Sakota, and Westbred, we can find the best hybrid to fit your farm. When it comes to your chemicals, we can finance many of your chemical needs for 1.9% while still offering full cash discounts. Elevate is also your precision planting dealer with a meter stand and an expert on staff to help get your row units and planting equipment ready for this upcoming season. Give us a call or check us out at elevateagronomics.com. Elevate Agronomics. Reach new heights. What rhymes with great? Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the stage. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate! <laughs> For the next game, yes indeed, we have the visiting Pine Ridge Thorps in the house tonight. And we want to start by introducing the cheerleaders again, the 2023 Lakota Nation Invitational Golden Pom Pom Cheerleader Champions. And uh, Piazza's Janice, Tayara Dupre. Kaylin Richard, Cody Puyer, Jay Kingfisher, and Aliana Birdhead. And the coach is Lakota Breeze. And now the starting lineup for the visiting Thorps. We have number one, Marvin Richard. Number two, Kanye Hollihorn. Number three, Dominic Gosper. Number 11, Anthony Steele. And number 15, Jalen Rubar. And I want to apologize ahead of time. I do have the girls cheerleaders out there, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to announce them all even though they may not have had time to get out there. Our cheerleaders for the boys tonight are Paige Wright, Taylor Krogman, Brittany Bartlett, Marlena Bray, 
Darby Krogman, Skyler Krogman, Brooklyn Whitehat, Cam Krogman, and Riley Lenderman. And now the starting lineup for your White River Tigers. Number one, Nicholas Marshall. Number three, Mackenzie White. Number five, Ray Crow. Number 10, Eva Steen Wright. And number 23, Jordan Euler, head coaches. Eldon Marshall, assisted by Justice Morissette. Head coach for the Thorps is Casey Means, assisted by Mike Brave and Will Good Eagle. All right, everybody, are you ready for some basketball? All right, welcome to tonight's boys basketball varsity game. We got the Pine Ridge Thorps versus the White River Tigers. Also, we have Mr. Joe Thorps with the Tiger TV tonight. Thank you, Looking at that, Euler jumping against Hollenhorn. Pine Ridge is going to get that jump. So we got Steele with the ball here. Looks like he's going to try to throw it into Hollowhorn, but Jordan Euler is going to get that. That would be Uliard with the steal back. Couldn't quite get that steal. Euler with the rebound. Alec to Crow. Crow's going to bring the ball down the court for the Tigers. To right. Over to Euler. Who's going to give it down to Marshall? There's going to be a lot of defense right there, and that ball's going to go out of bounds off the Thorps. It's going to stay Tiger Ball under the basket. Looks like we got Crow inbounding for the Tigers. He's going to inbound to Euler. Euler's going to make a move, do a reverse layup. A little too far. It was really hard with the rebound. That's a steal there for Nick Marshall down to Mackenzie White. A little bit of a scramble here for the ball by both teams. That's Hollowhorn with the move, and he is going to get called for a travel. Euler inbounding for the Tigers. Looks like Thorpe's are full court man pressing. White in the corner. Couldn't quite get that one. That would be Steele with the rebound. Over to Richard. Couldn't quite get that shot. Euler with another rebound for the Tigers. He's going to it to Nick Marshall. Marshall's going to bring the ball down the court. And he's going to pull it back at the three-point line. Look down at White on the block. And that's off the board for two. Good look there by Marshall. Good shot by White. Yep. And he is going to get called for a travel there. Took too many steps before he started dribbling. Here we got Xavier Little, number zero, checking into the game for the Thorps. Nick Marshall with the ball, telling his teammates to release. Go down the court. He's going to set up that screen there. Looks like he's going to drive it in off the board for two, and it's good. There is going to be a 30-second timeout called by the Thorps, and we're going to go to commercial. The Michael Glenn Memorial Coalition would like to remind everyone that most youth do not drink alcohol or use drugs. Its use among our youth should never be considered a rite of passage. Our kids' lives are too valuable. 
South Dakota now has a social host law, which means it is against the law to knowingly host an alcohol party for minors. Let's all set a good example and keep our kids safe from drugs and alcohol. Go Tigers! All right, and we're back out of that timeout. It is Forks Ball. It's currently 4-0. to zero. About 5 minutes and 55 seconds left to go of this first half. Steal to Rulliard for 3, and it's really a nice, smooth shot there by Rulliard. We got Marshall with the ball here. Looks like he's going to make a move, and he is going to get called for a travel on that move. Throw and bounding for the Tigers. He's going to get the ball to White. White to Crow. Crow's going to kick it out to Marshall. Marshall's going to drive off the board for two, and it's good. Nice drive there for Marshall. That is Richards with the ball. That one was Ghost Bear with the ball. And there is going to be a foul call there on number five. His first team first. Forbes ball under the basket. That's Steele inbounding. So Rulliard in the corner. Couldn't quite get that three. That's... Ghost Bear with the rebound and put back. Couldn't quite get that put back, but he did get fouled in the meantime. Ghost Bear to the line, shooting two. That foul was on number one, Nick Marshall, his first team Ghost second. Bear, the line. Ghost Bear, the line. Couldn't quite get that second one to fall there. Second one's good. Euler in down into White. Right with the ball. He's going to give it to Marshall. Looks like Marshall's going to put a move off the board, and the ball is actually going to get stuck. But he did get fouled on his shot, so he will be going to the line to shoot, too. Almost. That was a foul on number one, Richards. His first, team first. First one's good for Marshall. Right. Couldn't quite get that second one. That's Ghost Bear with the rebound. Down to Steele. Looks like Steele's going to drive it off the board. Couldn't quite get that one. Euler with the rebound. I'll let to Crow. Crow's going to bring the ball down the court. Give it to White. White's going to make a move. He's going to lose that ball. Euler's going to recover it, try to put it off the board. Couldn't quite get that one. He's going to get his own rebound and put it back. Couldn't quite get that one. That would be Steele with the rebound. He's going to look. Look down at Richards. Couldn't quite get that shot. That is going to go out of bounds off the Tigers. Stay Forbes ball under the basket. Steel inbounding for the Forbes. And there is going to be an offensive foul called there. That would be on number zero. His first. Xavier Little. Team second. 
Looks like we got number 23, Kanye Hollowhorn, checking back into the game. We got Marshall with the ball here for the Tigers. Looks like he's going to use that screen off of Euler. Kick it out to Crow on the three. Nice. Nice little side here for the get more open. That's a three pointer for Crow. We got Richards with the ball. Over to Steele for. Couldn't quite get that three. That was a rebound for Ghost Bear, and he did get fouled on that. That was a foul on number... Number five, Ray Crow, his second, team third. Steal and bounding for the Thorps under the basket. He's going to inbound to Rulliard. Rulliard's going to drive off the board. Couldn't quite get that one right with the rebound. He's going to give it to Tegan Bowman. Bowman's going to pull back, give it to Nick Marshall. Right in the corner. Couldn't quite get that three. That would be Ghost Bear with the rebound. I like to steal. Down to Richard. Richard's going to pull back, take that three. Couldn't quite get that one. Hollowhorn with the rebound. It did slip out of his hands and go out of bounds, so it's going to be Tiger Ball. Nice intensity here by both teams tonight. Marshall with the ball. Down to White. Like over to Euler. Looks like Euler is going to bounce pass it down to White. Nice look and pass there for Euler. Good shot by Wright. That was right for two. Richards with the ball over to Hollowhorn. Hollowhorn's going to drive. And he is going to get fouled on his drive. Hollowhorn to the line, shooting two. That was a foul on number one, Nick Marshall, his second, team fourth. Next foul for the Tigers will go to shooting free throws. Rebound for Boston Wright, outlet to Jordan Euler. Euler's going to wait and give it to Marshall. Marshall's going to bring the ball down the court for the Tigers. He's going to pull back away, give it to White. Back to Marshall. Calling that screen again. Over to Wyke. And Wyke's going to get called for a travel there. Travel in the paint. Thorpe's ball. 2.13 left to go of this first quarter. It's 12 to 6. Very intense game for both teams. Both teams are hustling and playing hard on offense and defense. Nice little screen give and go there for Richards and Hollowhorn. Hollowhorn couldn't quite get his own get his board, but he did get his he couldn't get his shot, but he did get his board and put back for two. Marshall with the ball. It looks like he's gonna drive. Couldn't quite get that shot, but he did get fouled. Marshall going to the line for two. That foul was on. Number eleven, Anthony Steele, his first team third. Make it the line. First person on steel. First one's good. Make it first one. Couldn't get that second one. Hollowhorn with the rebound. I'll let to Richard. Richard's gonna look down at Lillard. Tegan Bolton looks like he tried to get a hand on that. Really, I did lose it out of bounds, so it's going to be Tiger Ball here. Yeah. Marshall with the ball for the Tigers over to Euler. Tegan Bowman with the ball over to White. Back to Euler. Looks like Euler is going to drive. Make a move, and he's going to get stuffed there by Richards, number one. And there is going to be a foul called. I will say nice defense there for Richards. 
did a good job defending the basket. He did get fouled. And since the Tigers are at five, he will go to the line to shoot. That foul was on number three, Mackenzie White, his first team fifth. First one's good. First one's good. Same shot to take down for Richards. This first person. Second one's good. Nice free throw shooting there for Richards. Second one's good. Or Richard, sorry. Added an S there. That was unnecessary. Oh, who was that? That was... Xavier Little check back into the game for the Thorps. Marshall with the ball. He's going to give that ball to Tegan Bowman over to Wyke. Back to Marshall to reset. We got Tegan Bowman with the ball at the top of the key. Into Evostine Wright. He's going to give the ball to Nick. Nice defense there by Williard. Nick's going to try to take that jumper. Couldn't quite get that shot. Hollowhorn with the rebound. Outlet to Little. Little down to Ghost Bear. Couldn't quite get that three. Nice rebound by Hollowhorn and put back off the board for two. About 20 seconds left to go of this first quarter. It is 13 to 12. One point game. Tigers have the ball. Looks like Tigers are going to run down this shot clock and get that last second play right here. Got Marshall with the ball. And that is going to be a steal for Ghost Bear. Ghost Bear off the board for two, and it's good. And that's the end of the first quarter. It is 13 to 14. Thorps are up by one, and we're going to go to commercial. Thorps 14, Tigers 13. Count on ICC Electric in White River for your electrical needs. At ICC Electric, they specialize in home, farm, commercial, and residential electrical work. Panel changes. They remodel electrical work, too. And they do LED retrofits. ICC Electric is a proud sponsor of White River Local Sports and Activities. You can check them out on Facebook or call them 605-630-0549. ICC Electric in White River. Hi, I'm Ellen, co-owner of Roasted Building Products in Mission, South Dakota. Whether you're a DIY enthusiast or professional contractor, we've got everything you need. From high-quality lumber to power tools and everything in between, we're your go-to source for all things building. For your local, Lakota-owned hardware store, lumberyard, and equipment rental center, Roasted Building Products, your local source for all things building. Call us at 605-856-4100 or check us out online at rosebudbuildingproducts.com. Roasted Building Products, where community and quality come together. All right, and we're back. It's the beginning of the second quarter. Tiger ball. Nice look there. Down to Bowman. Couldn't quite get that shot. Nice defense there. Rebound by Steele. Looks like Little's going to pass it in a hollow horn off the board. And he is going to get fouled. Hollow horn shooting two at the line. That was a foul on number three, Mackenzie White, his second, team first. Couldn't quite get that first one. See if he gets the second one. Couldn't quite get that second one. Nice rebound there for Little. We got Steele with the ball. He's going to pull back, call the play. Over to Hollowhorn. Little to Steele back into the paint to Hollowhorn off the board. Couldn't quite get that one. Tegan Bowman with the rebound. Looked for an outlet, but he's going to keep it and give it to White at half court. White with the ball for the Tigers. Over to Euler. Back to White. Up to Bowman. Looks like Tigers are just going to move the ball around the perimeter. See the best. And Marshall is going to pass it down to Euler. Euler's going to go up off the board. Couldn't quite get that one. Tegan Bowman's going to get that rebound. He's going to go up for the shot and get fouled. 
Tegan Bowman to the line, shooting two. That was a foul on number 23, Kanye Hollowhorn, his first team first. Second one's good. Score is now tied, 14 to 14. Both teams have one foul, one team foul. We got Steele with the ball here. Down to Hollowhorn. Nice little pass there to Ruliard. It was so fast I almost didn't see it. Little with the ball into Hollowhorn. Hollowhorn's gonna make a move off the board for two, and it's good. Nice strong move there for Hollowhorn. Thorps are having some great ball movement and takes to the hole. Marshall's going to call that screen there. Marshall kick out to Bowman on the three. Couldn't quite get that one. Um, we had Hollowhorn and White Hustling after that rebound. Looks like that foul is going to be on number... 23, Kanye Hollowhorn. That's his second, team second. Nope, that was a foul on... Um... Yeah, okay, never mind. I think he had blood on his jersey. We got White with the ball. Over to Crow. Crow to Marshall. Marshall's going to call for that screen. Nice cut, the screen by Steele there. White with the ball. Looks like he's going to pull that three at the top. He couldn't quite get that one. I think, I think the court might have been slippery there. Not quite sure. That did go out of bounds off of the Tigers. It is going to be Thorpe's ball. Um, I think number 10's last name is Kale, but I'm not 100% sure, so if I am saying it wrong, I'm really sorry. That was a nice shot there by Richard. Couldn't quite get that one. Nice put back for Ghost Bear. Rebound and put back there. And there is going to be a foul called on number 11, Anthony Steele, his second team third. Tiger inbound. inbounding for the Tigers down to White. White is going to bring the ball down the court. It looks like he's going to pull back and wait for everyone to get there. Over to Euler. Down to Crow in the corner. He's going to drive baseline. Oh, nice block there for Richards. Nice clean block. Down full court pass to Kale. Couldn't quite get that shot. Really hard with the rebound. Ella to Richards on the three. He couldn't quite get that one. That would be Nick Marshall with the rebound and he is going to get called for a travel as well. Looks like we got number zero checking back into the game for the Thorps, Xavier Little. Rulliard for three. He has a nice, smooth three-point shot there. Marshall with the drive off the board for two, and it's good. Slip through the defense right there. Good job to Marshall. We got Steele with the ball here. 
Looks like he's going to drive middle. Got nice, nice, high, nice high shot. Get his own rebound. Give it to Richards. Richards off the board for two. Marshall Allen to Pro. Pro is going to dribble it down the court for the Tigers. White with the ball. Back to Marshall. Looks like Marshall's going to drive off the board, and he is going to get called for a travel. There is going to be a timeout called there by Coach Marshall. He, he's going to call a full timeout. Um, Just wanted to thank the 757 people watching our live stream right now. That's kind of crazy. But it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's nice to see the stands packed to the live stream being used. Showing good support to both teams. Okay. Um, score is 16 to 23. The Thorps are up. There's 4:14 left to go in this first quarter. Thorps ball. We got Little inbounding to steal. Steel's gonna give it to Richards. Kick out to Steel. Top of the key. Couldn't. Couldn't quite get that three. Jordan Mueller with the rebound. Outlet to Mackenzie White. He's going to push the ball down the court. Down to... That was a nice pass down to Avastin, but White did get called with a travel. So it will be Thorpe's ball. Looks like there is a foul called on number three, Mackenzie White, his third, team second. He will take a seat, and Tegan Bowman will check in it again for the Tigers. Dorf ball under the basket, steal inbounding. Inbound to Ghost Bear. Couldn't quite get that shot. There's going to be a little scramble there, but the Boston Wright will recover that ball. He will give it to Nick Marshall. Marshall will bring the ball down the court for the Tigers. And... Hmm. There's going to be a technical foul called. That foul was on number three for the Thorps. Dominic Ghost Bear, his first, team fourth. Looks like we got Marshall here shooting those technical free throws. First one's good. Second one's good. And Tigers will get the ball back. So it will be Tiger Ball at half court. 3.32 left to go in this second quarter. Marshall with the ball. We got Crow with the ball here. Looks like Marshall's going to kick it to right in the corner. Couldn't quite get that three. Jordan Mueller with the rebound. Put back. Couldn't quite get that put back off the board. In this second shot, I think, I think Richards got a block there, but it did go out of bounds off of the Thorpes, so it will be Tiger Ball under the basket. Looks like he got Crow inbounding for the Tigers. Nope. Just kidding. We have White inbounding for the Tigers. 
inbounded to Marshall. Marshall's going to drive baseline, throw it up. Couldn't quite get that one. Nice defense there for Steele. Rebound for Richards. He's going to bring the ball down, pull up that three, and it's good. And there is going to be a 30-second timeout called by the Forts, and we're going to go to commercial. <laughs> So it was always part of my journey that I was going to be a nurse and I was going to give back to my community. Nobody understands our needs like we do. So we need more youth um, that are interested in becoming nurses, doctors, pharmacists. We need more Indigenous rep representation in healthcare. Tigers. It's going to be Thorpe's ball under the basket. It's going to be Tiger Ball right in front of Tiger Bench. Euler inbounding for the Tigers. He's going to inbound to Nick Marshall. Marshall's going to bring the ball down the court for the Tigers. Nice steal there for Steele. <laughs> Block there by Jordan Mueller. Nick Marshall's going to recover that ball, and he's going to kick out to right on the three. That's one's going to fall a little short. Richards with the rebound. Long outlet to Rulliard. Rulliard's going to kick it back to Steele. Steele on the three-point line. Couldn't quite get that one. Throw with the rebound, and it is going to go out of bounds off of the Thorpes and be Tiger Ball. Looks like we got Xavier Little checking back into the game, and Steele will take a seat for the Thorpes. Euler inbounding for the Tigers. And that is going to go out of bounds off the Tigers. A little too far of a bounce pass there. Bowling couldn't quite get to it. It's going to be Thorpe's ball. Got Richards. Pull up for the three. Couldn't quite get that one. Hollowhorn with the rebound. He's going to kick it out to, go to Little. Back to Hollowhorn off the board for two, and it's good. Hollowhorn came up from that short corner shot, got that block shot off the board. Got Bowman with the ball. Kick out to Euler. And Euler's going to drive and kick it out to Wright. Wright's going to go a little too far, a little miscommunication there. The Tigers half. That is going to go out of bounds on the Tigers and be Corpse ball under the basket. It is a 10-point game. There is 1.16 left to go in this first half. Little inbounding. And he's going to inbound it a little too far, but Richards is going to get that ball. Richards, sorry. And nice block there by Euler. Marshall's going to drive off the board a little too high. But he is going to be fouled in the meantime. Marshall will go to the line to shoot two. That foul was on number two, or number zero, sorry, Xavier Little, his second team fifth. So now any ground of foul that's not on the shot will go to free throws. Marshall shooting two. First one's good. Looks like we got number five, Daylin LeBeau. I hope I'm saying that right. He's checking into the game. I think 
for the first time tonight, too. Second one's good for Marshall. It is now an eight-point game. Looks like Mackenzie White is checking back into the game, and Nick Marshall will take a seat. There was one minute and two seconds left to go in this first half. Ghost Bear inbound into Richard. Richard's going to bring the ball down the court for the Thorps. Kick back out to Ghost Bear to Rulliard. Richard's going to pull that three. Can't quite get that one, but he is going to get fouled on that three. That would be a foul on Ray Crow, number five, his third team third. Richard at the line. Richard at the line, shooting two, or shooting three. Two, yeah, two, three. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm getting a little tongue twisted here. First one was good. Second one was good. Nick Marshall back into the game. Ray Crow will take a seat. 47.2 seconds left. It is a 10-point game. Thorps are up 30 to 20. Richards. Third one was good. Um. This one's on 23. Um, that last shot isn't going to count. There was, I'm not quite sure what happened. I think it was a foul, right? Yeah, it was, it was offensive on number 23. That would be... That was an offensive foul there during that free throw shooting on Kanye Hollowhorn. That's number 23. That's his third team fifth. So looks like Euler will be shooting free throws for the Tigers. Oh, but it looks like that free throw did count. Uh, that free throw was no good. Let's see about this second one. Hollowhorn will take a seat, and we got Little checking back into the game. So the score is 31 to 20. 47.2 seconds left to go of this first half. Yule shooting. Second one's good. 10 point game once again. We have Richard with the ball. He's going to drive hard to the hole off the board for two, and it's good. Nice kick there by Richard. We got Marshall with the ball. And he's going to pass it down to Bowman on the block. Off the board for two. Nice kick there. Nice shot by Bowman. We got Little with the ball. Looks like... Richards is going to run down that time clock. Five seconds left. And he's going to pull that three, and that ball is going to get stuck. That is going to be Tiger ball. 2.3 seconds left to go in this first half. Nope, it is going to be Thorpe's ball. That's Ghost Bear at the top of the key. Couldn't quite get that one. That's the end of the first half. It is 23 to 33. Thorpe's are up by 10. And we're going to go to commercial for halftime. We do have the winner for high school's most prom fundraiser. 
The word cooperative means working together for a common purpose. At Actegra Cooperative, we are dedicated to supporting the success of our farmers and the health of our communities for generations to come. Rooted in our communities, Actegra strives to instill dedication, determination, and integrity in everything we do. And that includes inspiring the next generation of agricultural leaders. The word A better you starts closer to home with people who understand your way of life and belong to your community. Primary care providers at Horizon Health know you and know how to help you stay well. We're here to keep you healthy and care for you through every stage of life so you can keep doing what you love and make every day a better one. Schedule an appointment at horizonhealthcare.org. Cenex Zip Trip is your local convenience store with five locations throughout South Dakota, offering top tier gasoline and Cenex premium diesel fuels. Stop in for a great selection of your favorite snacks, beverages, pizza, and other hot foods. Become a Zip Trip Rewards member and save three cents per gallon of fuel every day, plus earn and redeem points for further discounts. Sign up at CenexZipTrip.com. Cenex Zip Trip is a proud supporter of all local athletics and activities. When it comes to game day, let Zip Trip fill your food and fuel needs. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. We connect people. Have been for a hundred years or so. How we get that done? Well, that won't always be the same. But why we connect people? Not in a million years is that ever going to change. We didn't build the communities that made South Dakota. No. We just brought them together. Advertising can be a struggle. Where to spend your money? Are you reaching the right audience? If you are looking for an effective method that reaches a large fan base at once, then here's your ticket with Live Ticket TV. With over 90 schools in the state of South Dakota, we can help you advertise locally with just your team or reach the region and state. Plus, a portion of all sales go directly back to the school. Get a hold of Stormy today and let's get started in building your brand with Live Ticket TV. Your local cooperative has a new name. CHS Northern Plains and CHS Midwest Cooperative have joined together to better serve you under the new name CHS River Plains. You gain more options and more value with access to global markets in a powerful supply chain. And you can do more every day using inputs delivered by a team who knows what you need, when you need it. Visit us online at chsriverplains.com or stop in today and let us help you own every day. Philip Motor, always ready to serve you with a winning combination of small town friendly sales and service and the latest vehicles and trucks from Ford, Lincoln, Dodge, and Chrysler. Your friends and neighbors across the West River Territory have come to depend on Philip Motor. Family owned for over 40 years, they're known far and wide for offering a relaxing, down to earth, helpful car shopping experience. Search online at philipmotor.com or stop by and see their new and pre owned inventory. Philip Motor proudly supports the Philip Scotties in all school and activities and sports. Philip Motor, your small town dealer. The Rosebud Sioux Tribe, Game, Fish, and Parks Department is an avid supporter of the local athletics and activities in all area schools. Their staff would like to wish all the athletes a great and successful season. Good luck to all area schools. Be sure to visit their website, www.rstgfp.net, or stop by the office for any licensing needs or questions about dates and restrictions. Also check out future dates for all youth hunter safety classes on their Facebook page. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods, 
such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs. There's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800-KILL-BUGS. The Insurance Center in Winter is an independent insurance agency affiliated with many fine companies representing all types of insurance. They're able to provide you with a no-obligation comparison of your auto, home, business, crop, farm, life and health insurance needs. Since they have access to so many companies, they have the ability to offer you the best possible coverages at the most competitive rates. For all of your insurance needs, it's the Insurance Center in Winter, White River, Platte, Burke and Valentine. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Welcome to White River's Gathering Spot for family and friends. Lance and Tracy Tucker, new owners of the Roundup Bar and Grill, invite you to join them for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. The Roundup Bar and Grill offers great food, great service, and cold beverages. Lance and Tracy are looking forward to seeing you at the Roundup. Open 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. on weekdays and midnight on weekends. With breakfast and noon specials. Let's go Tigers! Best of luck to the White River Tigers from the Roundup Bar and Grill in White River. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. Are you an enthusiastic sports fan? Want to have fun and get in on the action? Heck yes, that'd be awesome. Have great attention to detail? Want to stay active? Definitely. Want to give back to the student athletes in your community? Obviously, yes. Then you'd make an excellent high school sports official. We need more officials in South Dakota because with no high school officials, there are no high school sports. Sign up today at highschoolofficials.com. Looking to unlock your potential? Centec Alaska University is your gateway to success. Join a vibrant community dedicated to empowering students through quality education and cultural enrichment. With a diverse range of programs and dedicated faculty, we pave the way for your future. Discover your path at Centec Alaska University, where tradition meets innovation. Enroll today and embrace a brighter tomorrow. Visit our campus in Mission, South Dakota, or explore online at www.centecalaska.edu. Your journey starts here. Being a part of a community means sharing the history and future of the people all around you. For 115 years, First Fidelity Bank has been doing just that, helping you get the most out of life by providing the services and tools you need, the conveniences and technology you want, and the friendly faces you expect. So you get everything you need right here in the place you call home, now and for many years to come. First Fidelity Bank. That moment when you realize your furnace is stone cold busted. We're talking a real put on every sweater you own, I can't feel my feet, penguin predicament. But fear not, there's an expert for that. Let your local heating experts at Pites Service Experts keep you warm with $50 off any furnace repair. Like it toasty? There's an expert for that. Call Pites Service Experts at 866-EXPERTS. See website for license details. Your first car. 
It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. Elevate Agronomics is now added to Calabas Grow to our seed lineup. Along with brands like LG Seeds, Sakota, and Westbred, we can find the best hybrid to fit your farm. When it comes to your chemicals, we can finance many of your chemical needs for 1.9% while still offering full cash discounts. Elevate is also your precision planting dealer with a meter stand and an expert on staff to help get your row units and planting equipment ready for this upcoming season. Give us a call or check us out at elevateagronomics.com. Elevate Agronomics, reach new heights. Great? Participate! Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the stage. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great! Participate! <laughs> The Michael Glynn Memorial Coalition would like to remind everyone that most youth do not drink alcohol or use drugs. Its use among our youth should never be considered a rite of passage. Our kids' lives are too valuable. South Dakota now has a social host law, which means it is against the law to knowingly host an alcohol party for minors. Let's all set a good example and keep our kids safe from drugs and alcohol. Go Tigers! Count on ICC Electric in White River for your electrical needs. All right, we got like a minute and sorry if that was very loud. Got a little excited. Um, we got about a minute left to go of halftime, but I just wanted to point out some things. So looks like White River is currently number one of Class B and Pine Ridge is I think they're ranked number three. So that's pretty cool. Also, little fact here that I found out, my dad played with Marvin Richards' dad in high school, and he was pretty good, good athlete, good basketball player, and his son plays just like him, so that's pretty cool, I think. Um, yeah. My dad is the eye of the tiger tonight, and running the stream and I'm just sitting here announcing a little father-daughter duo we got going on here. Looks like it's going to be Tiger Ball, start of the third quarter. Mike with the ball. Over to Euler. And we got right at the top of the key. He's going to try to get it to Marshall. Steele's going to get a hand on that ball. And put it up. Couldn't quite get that one. Marshall with the rebound. Marshall's going to give it to Euler in the corner. Euler's going to kick it up to White. White's going to hold it. Tell him to set up the play. Tigers are just moving the ball around the perimeter. Nice pass into White there. He's going to kick out to right. Back to White. And looks like White's going to pull that three. And that's going to fall a little short there. It's going to go out of bounds off the of Tigers. Thorpe's ball. That was Richards for two. Snuck in there down the baseline, put it up off the board. We got Marshall with the ball for the Tigers. He's going to kick 
kick it up to Wyke. And Tigers are going to move the ball around the perimeter, looking to see what they can get open. Thorps are playing some pretty nice defense right now. Marshall's going to drive, and he is going to get fouled. Marshall to the line, shooting two. That was a body foul on number one. Marvin Richard, his second, team first. Second one's good. Goes there inbounding to steal. Nice pass there to, from Hollowhorn to Richard. Richard did take that in and he did get fouled. So he will be going to the line to shoot two. That foul was on number 14. Jordan Euler. He did have to switch his jersey because there was blood on his jersey. So he was 23. Now he's 14. That's his first team first. First one was good. Second one was good. So far tonight, the Thorps have had some pretty good free throw shooting. There is going to be a foul called there on the Thorps. That is number 11, Anthony Steele, his third, team second. Tiger ball. down to White. White's going to drive in, kick it out to Euler. Euler's going to drive in, pull the jumper. Hollowhorn's going to get a hand on that ball. He's going to outlet to Steele. Steele's going to bring the ball down the right side of the court. Looks like he's going to make a move, try to pass it down to Hollowhorn, but on that spin, he did get called for a travel there. Will be Tiger Ball. Euler inbounding to Marshall. Marshall bringing the ball down the court for the Tigers. He's going to go left side. Looks like he's going to try to drive it all the way. A nice slip past the defense there off the board from Marshall. We got Steele with the ball. Driving in. Nice block there by Euler. Oh, and it's going to be called a foul. That's a foul on number 14, Jordan Euler, his second, team second. Looks like Steele will be shooting two. Score is 26 to 37. The Thorps are up. First one fell, little short off the front of the rim. Tiger ball. I, I couldn't see, quite see what number the ref pointed out, but I think there was a free throw violation thing going on there. Tigers moving the ball, the ball around the perimeter. Vostin right. Kick out to Euler. Looks like Euler's going to kick out to White. White's going to drive in. Nice little pass there, but it was a little too far away from Crow to get his hands on it. It's going to go out of bounds. Thorpe's ball. 
five minutes left to go in this third quarter. Looks like we got Tegan Bowman checking into the game. Mackenzie White will take a seat. Steal with the ball for the Thorps. He's going to give it to Rulliard. Nice pass there to Hollowhorn. Couldn't quite get that shot to go in, but it did look nice. Um, I think Steele got that rebound. Over to Ghost there, and he is going to get called for the travel. So that's going to be Tiger Ball here on the sideline. Marshall with the ball for the Tigers. He's going to drive in, put that up off the board, and it's good. Let's see if we can get that three-point play. Marshall with the line, she gets one. That foul was on number three, Dominique Gospair, his second team third. Let's see if Marshall can get this three-point play here. And it's good. Three-point play achieved, and Coach Marshall will take a timeout. Looks like a 30-second timeout by Coach Marshall, and we're going to go to commercial. ICC Electric, they specialize in home, farm, commercial, and residential electrical work. Panel changes, they remodel electrical work too, and they do LED retrofits. ICC Electric is a proud sponsor of White River Local Sports and Activities. You can check them out on Facebook or call them 605-630-0549. ICC Electric in White River. All right, looks like it's going to be Fort Ball out of that timeout. There's four minutes and 27 seconds left to go in this third quarter. It is 29 to 37. Thorps are up. Looks like we got Richard with the ball. Nice pass down there to Steele. Steele off the board for two. Euler inbounding for the Tigers. He's going to throw it a little higher down to Crow. Crow's going to kick it across to Tegan Bowman. Back to Crow over to right. Marshall's going to call for that ball. Looks like he kick it in the corner to Crow. Back to Marshall. And Marshall's going to take that jumper. Couldn't quite get that one. There is going to be a foul called on number three. Number three, that is Dominique Gospair, his third, team fourth. So next free throw, or next foul will go to free throws. Marshall shooting two. Couldn't quite get that first one, went off the front of the rim. Let's see about the second one. Looks like we got Xavier Little, number zero, checking back into the game for the Thorps, and Gospair will take a seat. Ten point game. Second one went a little short off the front of the rim. That's a rebound there for Hollowhorn. That is going to be Steele. Couldn't quite get that three. Got his own rebound over to Rulliard at the top of the key. Couldn't quite get that. Steele with another rebound. Kick out to Richard on the three. Couldn't quite get that. Went short off the front of the rim. Hollowhorn with the rebound. Looks like Euler got a hand on that pass. Try to block that pass from going up. And it, it did go out of bounds, so it is going to be Thorpe's ball. Good defense by the Tigers and good rebounding by the Thorpes. We got Hollowhorn with the ball. Crow inbounding to Euler. Euler back to Crow. Crow's going to bring the ball down the court for the Tigers. Defense, 
Nice steal there for Rulliard. He's going to go a little one-on-one -on -one fast break off the board. And it rolls in, and it's good. Nice long pass there. Marshall to Euler. Euler off the board for two. Once again, it is a 10-point game. 2.40 left to go in this quarter. Nice pass there from Rulliard to Hollowhorn. Hollowhorn for two. Little give and go there. Marshall with the ball for the Tigers. And he is going to lose that. I think Richard poked that free from him. Little recovered that. We got Richard with the ball. And it looks like he is going to be fouled there. So it's going to be Pope's ball under the basket. That foul was on number 14, Jordan Euler, his third team third. And that is going to be a travel. Tiger ball. Marshall bringing the ball down the court for the Tigers. And there is going to be a foul called. a foul on number zero, Xavier Little. He's third, team fifth, and there is going to be a timeout called by the Forks. Full timeout. And we're going to go to commercial. I'm Ellen, co-owner of Roasted Building Products in Mission, South Dakota. Whether you're a DIY enthusiast or professional contractor, we've got everything you need. From high-quality lumber to power tools and everything in between, we're your go-to source for all things building. We're your local, Lakota-owned hardware store and lumberyard and equipment rental center. Roasted Building Products, your local source for all things building. Call us at 605-856-4100 or check us out online at rosebudbuildingproducts.com. Rosebud Building Products, where community and quality come together. So it was always part of my journey that I was going to be a nurse and I was going to give back to my community. Nobody understands our needs like we do. So we need more youth um, that are interested in becoming nurses, doctors, pharmacists. We need more Indigenous rep representation in healthcare. back out of that timeout. Looks like Marshall will be shooting two. First one's good. I'm not sure if you guys could hear that screaming through my headset, but I did. It kind of loud. You know what? That's fan spirit right there. Second one's couldn't quite get that. That would be Little with the rebound. He's going to give that ball to Richard to bring down the court. Over to Rulliard. Rulliard's going to make a move to the basket, pull it back out, give it to Little. Back to Rulliard. Rulliard's going to pull that three, and it's good. Nice little deep three there for Rulliard. I think that's his third. Third three for the night. Three-pointer there by Devastine Wright. <laughs> got Steele with the ball. Over to Richard. Richard's going to look in at Little. Little's going to look at Really are cutting in, kick out to steal on the three, and it's good. Nice ball movement there by the Forks. We got Crow here for the Tigers, bringing the ball down the court. He's going to look at the right side, give it to Marshall, over to right. 
Wright's going to give it to Euler in the corner. Back to Marshall. Marshall's going to pull that three. Couldn't quite get that one, and that's going to go out of bounds off the Tigers. It's going to be Thorpe's ball. 43.5 seconds to go left in this third quarter. It's 35 to 49. The Thorpes are up. Juliar with the ball. Nice screen there by Hollowhorn. Nice give and go there. Couldn't quite get that shot though. Nice defense by Wright and Euler. Steal there. <laughs> steal with the steal once again. He's going to give it to Richard. Richard's going to drive in off the board for two and it's good. Faked that three, drove it to the board. Marshall with the ball. He's going to give it to Wright. Wright's going to pull that three. Couldn't quite get that one. Euler with the rebound. He's going to put it Give it to Wright. Hollowhorn's going to step in there and get that steal in the middle of that pass. I'll let the steal. And that's the end of the third quarter. It is 35 to 51. The Forbes are up. And we're going to go to commercial. The word cooperative means working together for a common purpose. At Actegra Cooperative, we are dedicated to supporting the success of our farmers and the health of our communities for generations to come. Rooted in our communities, Actegra strives to instill dedication, determination, and integrity in everything we do. And that includes inspiring the next generation of agricultural leaders. The word A better you starts closer to home with people who understand your way of life and belong to your community. Primary care providers at Horizon Health know you and know how to help you stay well. We're here to keep you healthy and care for you through every stage of life so you can keep doing what you love and make every day a better one. Schedule an appointment at horizonhealthcare.org. All right, and we're back at the start of the fourth quarter. Thorpe's ball to start off this last quarter of the game. Richard over to Rulliard. Looks like he's going to pull that three. Couldn't quite get that one. Euler with the rebound. I'll let to Marshall. Marshall's going to bring the ball down the court for the Tigers. Over to Bowman. And there is going to be... A timeout called by Coach Marshall. 30-second timeout. Tiger ball. That would have been a nice one, but we couldn't quite get that one. Richard, oh, basket's not going to count. He's going to get called for a travel. It's going to be Tiger ball here. You live. Looks like there's going to be a technical foul called on number 11, Anthony Steele, his fourth, team second. Marshall will be shooting those technical free throws. That's a point of one, Steele. Pick up the line.
Couldn't quite get that first one there from Marshall. Second one's good. Couldn't quite get that one. And that one's good. Will be Tiger Ball at half court. Uh, Marshall inbounding to Bowman. Back to Marshall. Nice screen there by Wright. Crow with the ball. Looks like he's going to drive in off the board, and that's going to be a block for Hollowhorn. Hollowhorn, sorry. I think I said holla. Um, looks like we're going to go to timeout. That will be Tiger Ball under the basket after this 30-second timeout. Oh, full, full timeout. Just kidding. Sure, yeah. When we're going to go to commercial. Cinex Zip Trip is your local convenience store with five locations throughout South Dakota, offering top tier gasoline and Cinex premium diesel fuels. Stop in for a great selection of your favorite snacks, beverages, pizza, and other hot foods. Become a Zip Trip Rewards member and save three cents per gallon of fuel every day, plus earn and redeem points for further discounts. Sign up at CinexZipTrip.com. Cinex Zip Trip is a proud supporter of all local athletics and activities. When it comes to game day, let Zip Trip fill your food and fuel needs. With That's Crow inbounding for the Tigers. He's going to inbound the right back to Crow. Crow up to Marshall over to Bowman. Tigers going to move the ball around the perimeter. Wheeler's going to drive in, kick out to Bowman. Looks like that ref um, walking up to the score table, he did see a foul on that shot. So Crow will be going to the line to shoot two. <laughs> that was a foul on number three. Dominique Ghost Bear, his fourth, team third. I think our um, well, I don't know. Looked like our scoreboard was signaling that we had five fouls, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Looks like number three, Dominique Ghoster, will go out of the game for now. We got number zero, Xavier Little, checking back into the game. And second one's good. Nice people shooting there for Crow. Richard with the ball for the course. Over to Steele. Steele's going to give it to Hollowhorn. Hollowhorn's going to look down at Little. And that's a, that basket counts. Little did get fouled on that shot, so he is getting a chance to earn that three-point play right there, that and one. Um, it was a nice pass by Hollowhorn. He looked from the three-point line across the block. Couldn't quite get that free throw. Of Austin Wright with the rebound. Outlet to Marshall. Marshall's going to give it to Crow. Crow's going to bring the ball down the court for the Tigers. Over to Euler. 
Yuli's gonna look across that right. And Light's gonna give it to Crow. Crow's gonna pull that three, and that is gonna fall short. <laughs> Nick Marshall just hurdled the cheerleaders that were all sitting down in the corner there. That's gonna go out of bounds off the Tigers. Dort ball. Richard with the ball. He's gonna pull a jumper at the elbow. Couldn't quite get that one. Tegan Bowman with the rebound. I'll let to Marshall. Marshall's gonna bring the ball down the court. And kick it out to Wright on the three. And it's good. Nice three-point shot by Wright. 11-point game here. Thorps are up. Steele. Looks like he's going to pull that jumper in the short corner. Couldn't quite get that one. Nick Marshall with the rebound, but he did get fouled on that rebound. And that should be that should be free throws. Shouldn't it? Maybe not. Maybe not. I thought, I thought they were at four, but I, maybe not. Um, that was a foul on number one, Marvin Richard, his third team fourth. Uh, Marvin, oh, sorry. Ray Crow, he will be shooting too. He got fouled on his shot. That was a foul on number 15, Jalen Rulliard, his second team fifth. First one's good. Second one's good. Nice free throw shooting by Crow. Little inbounding to Richard. Richard's going to bring the ball down the court for the Thorps. And he's going to look over at Steele. Steele's going to use that screen, drive up, pull up. Nice little shot there. For Steele. Marshall with the ball for the Tigers. And he's going to make a quick move to the basket, and he is going to get called with a travel. Richard with the ball. Richard's going to pull that three-pointer, and it goes in. Bounced up like it was going out and bounced right in. And Tigers are going to get called for a double dribble here. It is going to be Thorpe's ball under the basket. Looks like we got Steele inbounding for the Thorpe's. Kick it out to Richard on the three. Couldn't quite get that one. Euler with the rebound. Outlet to Marshall on the left side. Marshall's going to bring that ball down. Nice recovery there by Marshall. And he will be fouled. That was a foul on number one, Marvin Richard. I think that's his fourth. Yep, his fourth, team fifth. Marshall to the line shooting two. Couldn't quite get that first one. Second one's good. Richard with the ball. Over to Steele. Back to Richard in the corner. Looks like he's going to make a move, pull back, and it's good for three. Nice move there by Marvin Richard. Yuli's going to give the ball to Marshall. Looks like Marshall's going to drive baseline off the board for two, and it's good. Nice take there for Marshall. 
We got Steele with the ball here. He's going to pull that three. Couldn't quite get that one. Euler with the rebound. He's going to kick it out to Crow. Crow's going to slow it down. We got Bowman with the ball. Looks like um, Hollowhorn poked that ball out of bounds. So it will stay Tiger Ball right in front of their bench. Looks like we got number three, Dominique Ghost Bear, back into the game for the Thorps. Xavier Little will take a seat. Three minutes and 40 seconds to go left of this game. Has been a good one. Marshall with the ball. Looks like Bowman's going to take that three. Couldn't quite get that one. Hollowhorn with the rebound. He's going to outlet to um, Ghost Bear. Down to Steele. Steele's going to take that three, but Wright is going to get a hand on that shot. Marshall's going to recover that ball and bring the ball down the court. Looks like he's going to slow down so they can set it up. Crow to Euler. Over to Wright at the top of the key. Looks like Crow's going to take that corner three, and that falls a little short, but Tegan Bowman is going to get that and put it back up off the board. Nice boxing out position there for Bowman. Richard with the ball. That's Rulliard for two. Nice take there for Rulliard down the left side of the lane. Crow with the ball for the Tigers. He's going to give it to Wright. Over to Bowman. Bowman to Marshall. Looks like Marshall's going to pull up for a jumper at the free throw line. And he is going to be fouled on that shot. And that was a foul on number three, Dominique Gosper, his fifth. So he will be taking a seat the rest of the game. Good job to him. He played good tonight. Played hard, hustled. So good job, Dominique. Um, looks like we got Xavier Little, number zero, back in the game for the Thorps. First one's good there for Marshall. Second one's good. We got Hollowhorn with the ball over to Rulliard. Back to Hollowhorn for two. Nice take there by Hollowhorn with the defender right on his back. We got Euler with the ball. He's going to take it, kick it out to Wyke on the three. Wyke's going to drive in, give it back to Euler on the opposite block, and Euler's going to go off the board for two. Nice ball movement there for the Tigers. Good take, Euler. Steal there for Nick Marshall. And he's going to go off the board for two. It is a 10-point game here. One minute and 20 seconds left to go. We got Mackenzie White with the steal, but it did go out of bounds, so it will be Thorpe's ball. Looks like Thorpe's are going to take a timeout, um, a full timeout. So we're going to go to commercial. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. We connect people. Have been for a hundred years or so. How we get that done? Well, that won't always be the same. But why we connect people? Not in a million years is that ever gonna change. 
We didn't build the communities that made South Dakota. No. We just brought them together. All right, and we're back out of that timeout. It is Thorpe's ball. There is one minute and 19 seconds left. Little inbounded to Richard. Over to Rulliard. Over to Steele. Looks like the Thorpes are going to play a little spread out. Richard down to Hollowhorn. Hollowhorn reverse layup off the board. Couldn't quite get that one. Richard with the rebound, and he did get fouled in the meantime. That was a foul on number five, Ray Crow, his fourth, team second. So that will be Thorpe's ball on the sideline. We got Richard with the ball, about 50 seconds left to go of this game. Steal. <laughs> Looked like he wanted to take that three, but I think the Thorps are trying to run down the clock a little bit. We got Rulliard in the corner. Couldn't quite get that three. That is going to go out of bounds on the rebound off of Ray Crow. 32.6 seconds left. Steel inbounding under the basket for Thorps. Inbounded to Richard. Richard's going to look down at Little. Little tried to look at Hollowhorn, but defense was right there. Mackenzie White with the steal. He's going to bring the ball down. Hollowhorn with the steal right back to Richard. Down to Little on the block. Off the board for two, and it's good. Nice ball movement there for the Thorps. We got Crow with the ball over to White. Over to Euler in the corner. Euler's going to drive in, and he is going to get fouled. Yep. And there is going to be another... Technical foul called. And another technical foul. <laughs> I think. I think we have two. No, don't you think so? They called one on. That was. Um, Yeah, I think that was a... You think that was... A, Cause isn't there... Did they call two technicals? Yeah. One on the... I think they called one on the Thorps and one on the Tigers. I'm not 100% sure, though. So if I'm completely wrong, that's my bad. Um, first technical free throw for Euler is good. Couldn't quite get that second one. Couldn't quite get that third one. Fourth one is good. And now there will be the technical free throws here for the Thorks. Looks like we got Marvin Richard shooting. There was a technical on number 23, Kanye Hollowhorn, and for the Thorps, and a technical on Ray Crow for the Tigers. First technical free throw for Richard is good. like it's going to be Thorpe's ball here. Three point, 
seven seconds left. Richard with the last shot. Couldn't quite get that one. And that's the end of the ball game here. 58 to 69, the Pine Ridge Dorps took that W for the night. Um, great job to both teams. There's a lot of good basketball, a lot of hustling, hard moves to do. Good job, coaches. Um, you guys both have great programs. So let's see here. I would do a shout out to number one, Marvin Richard for the Thorpes. He had a great night, ball handling, shooting. I would also do a shout out to number 11, Anthony Steele. He also had a great night. Um, he's always there, always on the ball. Great defensive. I saw some pretty good defensive moves for him, so he had a good defensive night. For the Tigers, I would say, good job, Nick Marshall. He does every aspect of the game for the Tigers. So good, good hustle there, Marshall. And then also Ray Crow, he did good tonight, dribbling the ball for the Tigers. So good job, everybody. Have a good night.